Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today I will be doing a video sharing with you the planners I used in April, what worked, what didn't, and what I will be switching up for May. Um, so let's get right into it. So I started off, if you've watched my um, April planner um, setup or plan with me, um, these are the planners I intended to use, <laughs> I will say. Um, so let me just start off by saying that, you know, it's okay if you planned on using all of the planners or all of the notebooks and your needs change over time or week to week. Um, I feel like at least how I'm using my planners and as Hobonichi would call them, um, my life books is I use them based on my needs at the time. So yeah, let me just get right into it enough with the rambling. So I started off for planning. I started off with these two for um, April. At least that's what I planned on using. Um, so this is my Hobonichi Weeks. This is my everyday carry, messy planning. Um, everything goes in here. Um, I mostly do my my um, pre-planning, like my main planning is in the weeklies. And then I use the back pages for dailies as I need them. So, you know, some days I don't use um, the back pages for dailies every day. But, you know, when I do need it, like when I have more... Um, tasks and things like that I'll just use um, the daily pages the empty pages in the back I mean so initially how I was using this in March was that I would do all of my pre-planning in here so this would go with me everywhere I would jot things down as I needed and come the beginning of the next week I would take this out and I would finalize everything in here. Um, this is my Wonderland 222 in B6. So I would just finalize everything in here. I would write um, main events happening that day or appointments up here. And then I would write down the tasks that need to get done. And then on the bottom, if I have space, I will write, um, I would rapid log some journaling thoughts and whatnot. Um, I didn't use it that way in April. Um, as you can see, this is the beginning of April and I, I did not touch this at all in April. Um, and it was just because for my needs in this month, I just found it repetitive, I guess. And I just, I didn't have that many tasks and things like that. Um, and the Hobonichi weeks was enough for me so yeah that's why I kept everything in here so um speaking of my Hobonichi weeks so this is my main planner right now in for April <laughs> this is my main planner and how I've been using this is like I said this has been my main planner and um this is my monthly view which I have this index clip from Midori here um events arrangements um scheduling it comes here and then for the weeklies is where i have my pre-planning so to say um i draw a line over here and i have events or appointments arrangements things like that here um and over here is just tasks that i would hope to get done on that particular day um, everything on this side is um, things pertaining to work. And over here, I just had like um, lists. So like task or like for next week, um, shopping list. Yeah, um, that's how I use the weekly spread. It's pretty functional, very straightforward. Um, the only difference is that in April, I, I decided to play around with some deco, which is not like... The previous months so as you can see here everything else for the past few months was just pen only it's messy planning i didn't really care um i don't know what possessed me so i decided to add a little bit of deco 
Um, I didn't for this week, and yeah, this is the current week we're on, and I just put on some washi tape. Um, yeah, and then for the back here, I, the, like I said, these are my daily pages, and I've really been enjoying them because some days are just very small, like a small section, and if you don't know, um, I also color code um, my journaling and planning with this um yumi jet stream multi-pen so this this particular one is from jet pens this is in the point uh 38 millimeter and i for task events anything pertaining to planning is in black and then journaling is in blue and red is for anything i would like to draw my eye to so yeah um that's how i've been using um color coding in my planning and I really enjoy um, the daily logging so this is um, the pages I used in April um, like I said some days are very small um, a very small portion of the page because it's really not much um, I just have the date some events things like that and some notes or journaling and yeah this this month I was I stepped out of the box and I decided to use more stickers and deco for, you know, for my functional planning and it it went pretty well and I'm really happy with how I used my planner this month. So, yeah. Um so that's that. That's my um main planner, my Hobonichi weeks. And let me get into my journaling things. So, um nothing much has changed for my journaling. My, I am still going strong in my Hobonichi Cousin. This is my memory keeper, um, my, yeah, my main journal. So I have, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. I have a lot of back journaling I need to fill out for my monthly pages. Um, if you don't know, I use uh, the monthly view as kind of like highlights. Uh, highlights for the day so I use up quite a bit of character stickers this way and I've really been enjoying it um but yeah as you can see I really need to backfill a lot of these which I don't mind I find it quite therapeutic to go back and you know and the weekly view again it's just journaling based on the um timeline that happened on this specific day and yeah um the daily pages are more long form journaling things like that so nothing too exciting um nothing much has changed so yeah Let, definitely drop a comment down below if you have any uh, questions about the supplies i'm using or things like that so last but not least this is my wellness journal and i've really been enjoying this practice um so how i've been using it this month is that let me see where is April. Okay, so for the monthly view in April, again, this is my Hobonichi Weeks. This is also another Hobonichi Weeks Mega, but this one is the hardcover. But I've, how I've been using it for this month is that I, I will write down the workouts that I do, like body movement, not really workouts, um, in the monthly view. And I track my mood on this side. So I write down the moods and then here's the days of the month. And then I uh, put a dot and then I draw in the line for to create a graph. Down here I have the habit tracker um, with things that I want to track um, pertaining to my health or my mental health. And I've been using the weekly pages here as a gratitude log. So all of these stickers are from Sterling Inc. for the um, month of April, her subscription for April. And I went a little bit, I don't want to say crazy, but <laughs> I put in more stickers than usual. If you can see from the previous month, I, you know, I add, I did add some deco, but I wasn't, I didn't go all out as I did, you know, this month. So I write I, um, things that I'm grateful for on this side. And then over here, I've been using it as um, my weekly reflections. So yeah, um, more reflections. 
things that work, things that need adjustments. Yeah, and then in the back pages here, I've been using it for, it's more private, so I don't really want to show too much, but um, I've been doing some journaling here about um, um, things concerning my health, I guess. So whether that may be about my mental health or physical health, like um, if I'm feeling pain here or there and what I'm, you know, guessing it might be, whether or not I went to see a doctor, um, whether or not, you know, I've eaten well or hydrated enough or all of that. So this is more um, a section where I journal about um, health related things. So yeah, this is how I used all of my um, journals and life books in the month of April. Let me know down in the comments down below if you have any questions or, um, yeah, if you have any questions about any of the things that I've been using or my system, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.